Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Got some strange news about VeChain today. There's uh, VeChain was being used to verify collector figures and one of them has gone viral. Now, we know that um, Sunday's VTHO burn was over 4 million and over 4 million for a weekend day is pretty high. Now, we actually have been hitting over 3 million <laughs> on, on some weekends thanks to Walmart. But 4 million is very, very high for a weekend and this might actually have something to do with that. Because this collector figure, which is verified by VeChain Tor, it has actually gone viral. So the, the collector figure is from Hua Qinyu, uh, who is a Chinese pop sensation right now. So using an app released last week, owners can uh, check authenticity on the VeChain Tor blockchain. So obviously, like, if they buy the figurine, because it's a sensation, it might be kind of expensive. Um, and there's only 20,000 of them, and there's a lot of people in China. So there's probably huge demand for it, and there's going to be uh, counterfeiters that... Are going to try to uh, are going to try to counterfeit uh, this figurine of Hua Chin Yu. So using VeChain Tor blockchain, you can actually make sure that your figurine is authenticated. The special feature uh, of the figures is that they are verified with an NFC chip on the VeChain blockchain to uh, certify the authenticity of the figure. Thus, more than 36 million fans of the Chinese pop star come at least indirectly into contact with VeChain's blockchain technology. I mean, they people might do this, and they might actually think this is pretty cool. And uh, if this is actually successful, they, this could transplant into other systems with VeChain. The figures were produced by SK, SNKR in cooperation with the Mars Space Station platform, known as fashion, known as a fashion and culture platform with, that works with celebrities. The figurines for Hua Chin Yu were launched at the end of May, with each figurine shaped like a mouse and provided with an individual digital identifier. SNKR uses VeChain blockchain and IoT chip technology for this purpose. The toy is worth about 130 bucks. So right now, like I bet this figurine is actually going to be worth a lot more money soon because I mean it's so in demand right now that um, you know they have like tens of millions of fans, but only 20,000 figurines um, selling for 130 bucks. They could easily bid it up to several thousand. And if you're spending that much on a figurine, you definitely want to know if it's authenticated or not, and uh, some people will be wondering at the technology. Plus, SNKR, um, if this is actually very successful, they probably will use it in their other products. This is a limited edition for a premium figure. They probably have other premium items, so it makes sense that they could actually use VeChain for more. And like, uh, if a lot of people start uh, scanning and they, they um, start putting a lot of these things uh, on the blockchain, that could rise up VTHO burn. So an NFC chip was inserted into each figure, which provides a permanent digital identity and protection against product counterfeiting. counterfeiting. The figure spread quickly among the pop stars fans with a video of Hua Chin Yu's cat being a viral hit. Uh, fans began sharing photos of their own house cats on the Chinese Facebook alternative Weibo, with a thread receiving over 16.4 million comments. That's a huge amount of comments. To ensure the collector item is genuine, both companies have developed a mobile app officially announced last week that allows fans to scan the figurine on their smartphones. The app announcement and guide has been viewed over 100,000 times to date, and the app provides universal transparency to the owners and buyers of the app. So this honestly could make more, uh, could get more people in contact with VeChain, could actually make some people even familiar with it, maybe could get some new investors. But anyways, it's really good exposure um, for VeChain on a, on a corporate level, because even if like individual people uh, don't really understand what's going on like other other companies are going to know like what technology they're using and they might use it for uh, their products too if this is successful so another special feature is that the owners of the figure do not have to deal with the cryptocurrency itself the snk token so they don't have to use the snk token for this purpose snkr and mars space station use vchain's fee delegation function so it still burns vetho for the transfer of the nft token which enables snkr to pay the transaction fee for the blockchain so they're paying all the transaction fees for the blockchain. Um, they don't actually need to, the, the users don't need to use the SNK, but this actually basically dis, displays the technology um, on VeChain Tor. And it doesn't really matter for VeChain Tor because everything uses VeChain Tor. Even if it doesn't use SNK directly, you have to actually use the fee delegation and they actually have to pay the fee on VeChain Tor. So another good use case for VeChain Tor, some media attention, some pop sensation attention, and hopefully this gets other companies on board with VeChain. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.